Hey makeup friends, I scurried out to Sephora today and I picked up all five of the new Fenty Gloss Balm creams. So what I want to do today is share my initial first impressions with you, do some swatches, and compare them to the original Gloss Balm formula as well. But before we get into that, I want to welcome you back to my channel, or if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Kara, I'm a working mom of two, and on my channel we like to mix beauty, brains, and the occasional F-bomb. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I invite you to subscribe. All right, now before we get into swatches, I just wanna give you a little bit of background information on the products. They are available through the Sephora website or through the Fenty Beauty website. They retail for $25 Canadian or $19 US, and for that you're getting nine milliliters of product. That is the exact same size as their original gloss bomb. So I'm gonna to go to the Sephora website and just read to you the description so that you know what this product claims to be. So it says that this is a medium to full coverage color lip gloss and has zero shimmer in it. It's buildable with full intensity pigment and brilliant shine. The wand applies in just one swipe with a non-sticky feel and it has an addictive peach vanilla scent plus vitamin A to nourish the lips. That's it in terms of background information. I'm not going to belabor the point. Let's get straight into the swatches because I'm sure that's what you're all here for. So first up, we're going to apply Fenty Glow. And you can see that there is a difference between them. So this is the Fenty Glow Gloss Cream. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the original Gloss Balm formula. And you can see that it is more sheer and it definitely has that sparkle factor to it. The doe foot on the creams is the exact same as it is on the original Gloss Balm. And this is a beautiful color that can go with any eye look that you do. The next shade up is called Mauve Wives and it's described as a rosy mauve. I think this has a bit more pink to it than what I was expecting. I really thought that this was going to become more of like a lilac kind of shade just based on the swatch pictures I've seen. But as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful rosy nude. I love this color so much. The next shade is Honey Waffles, and this is described as a honey butter brown. You can probably hear my husband and my son in the background. They're yelling about Rice Krispie Squares. <laughs> They're very excited. Anyways, this shade, I was worried that it wasn't going to be flattering once it was applied, and yet I think it's a beautiful, warm, terracotta kind of shade. I don't think that it's overpowering by any stretch but I really like the warmth that it brings. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Next up is Cookie Jar, and this is described as a chocolate caramel. I think it's very reminiscent of honey waffles, but has a bit more depth to it and a bit more pigmentation to it. Again, it's one of these shades that when I saw pictures of it online and look at it in the actual tube, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be flattering on, but as you can see, once it's applied, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's not too red, it's not too brown. It's a really nice mix of the two, and I think it's really flattering. Last up is this shade here called Fruit Snacks, and it is described as a berry red. You can see from this swatch just how pigmented this shade is. I I thought it was going to be more of like a raspberry kind of pink, just based on the colors on the Sephora website, but I'm not disappointed with the shade that it actually is, which is more of a deeper red than what I was expecting. Again, it does sheer out because it's a gloss, but I think it's one of those really approachable shades that if you want to dip your toe into wearing reds, this would be a really good starting point. So there are all five of these lip glosses swatched out. 
I really have to say that I'm impressed with the entire range of colors. There were a few when I was ordering these that I didn't think I was really going to love, and yet I have been pleasantly surprised by them. So, for example, this one here in Mauve Wives, I just, I didn't think it was going to be a flattering shade on me. I thought it was gonna pull a little bit too lilac, which tends not to work with my skin tone all that well. And yet I do find that this is very flattering on my skin. And I think it's a little bit more on the pink side than it is mauve. The other shade that surprised me is Honey Waffles because I thought it might be a little bit too, I'm not sure, too warm, too orangey, too browny, just something. Looking at the pictures online, I just didn't think that it was going to be very flattering on my skin. And yet again, I was pleasantly surprised with just how flattering it was. So I think that she has selected five really great shades and there is something for everybody. Whether you like the brighter pinky reds or whether you just want something very nude and almost transparent, there is a shade within these five to choose from. In terms of the feel of these lip glosses on, it is very reminiscent of the original Gloss Bomb formula. There is nothing sticky in here and it really does feel hydrating on the lips. It's not a gloss that tends to feather or gum up on the lips. You don't get those like strings of yuckiness. I don't know how else to describe them. It just stays put. Now that's not to say that these are long wearing products. They're lip glosses. They're not. I don't go into a product like this expecting that I'm not going to have to top it up for hours on end. They transfer off. They rub away. It just is what it is when you're wearing a lip gloss, but these are very easy to apply on the fly, especially with those lighter shades. And I really don't mind the lack of longevity in these because that's not what I'm purchasing a lip gloss for. If I want that, I'm gonna go for a liquid lipstick. In terms of the scent, they describe it as a peach vanilla scent, and I'm not, I'm not sold on that. I'm not sure that I really detect either, there is definitely a sweetness to it, but I, I wouldn't be able to smell it and be like, mm, that's peach. I will say compared to the original Gloss Bomb, it's a more subtle scent. I frankly like the original Gloss Bomb smell a bit better. It has sort of like a tropical smell to it. This one has a sweetness, but it's more subdued. So to each their own. Again, I don't buy products for their scent unless it's a perfume, but if you're worried about a scent being overwhelming, this one is more subtle than the original Gloss Bomb formula. With respect to the claim that these are medium to full coverage lip glosses, yes and no. I think it's gonna depend on the shade that you pick. The deeper the shade, obviously the more pigmentation it's going to have just by the very nature of its color. Certainly these are not sheer lip glosses. They do apply with color regardless of the shade you choose, but the deeper the shade, the more you can build it up. And I think that that makes sense, to be honest. I mean, this one does not have a lot of pigmentation in it, so even if I apply 15 layers of it, it's only gonna get so deep. So overall, what I can say is that if you have tried the Gloss Bomb formula and you enjoyed that, I highly suspect that you are going to enjoy these ones as well. Now, if you have not tried the Gloss Bomb, I would recommend trying these if you are in the market for a new gloss. I don't think you'd be disappointed with them. Again, as I said, they are not sticky. They're not uncomfortable to wear. They don't have any of that stinging sensation that some glosses have. Think Buxom and their lip polishes. These are just a really functional and easy to use product. They look beautiful on the lips. They bring a ton of shine and they're just an overall comfortable product to wear. So. With that all said, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in my next one. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.